Rovers. I hope you can hear me okay. Well, I'm back after my operation and I was just doing this short bit. I'll be getting a silage bale on the back of my little trailer, the Cliff Jerome bale on the back of the mule. And also to tell you about my eye operation, I know it's gone. So, um, I will uh, give you a bit of a heads up on that in a minute now. Right, tubers, I thought I'd show you this thing I made many years ago now, when I, one of my first videos I ever put up. Mrs. calls it the chariot, because it's a bit like a Roman chariot. But it's basically... Uh, what I'm doing now really, there's a place where we got some sheep that's so wet just down the road here, if you go there with a tractor it makes such a bloody mess so this thing is very light, you can hardly tell you've been there really so it's something I could put on back of the mule that would you know, you could take things out in the snow and stuff like that it's pretty simple, it's just a spike and this hand winch. So I'll reverse into that now. Go on. As you can see, the sheep are trying to stop my troubles here. Oh, this is a horrible thing to reverse. This fucking steering's gone on there. How oh, steering's gone on my mule at the moment. I'm a bit off centre, but we'll see how it goes now. So basically, just use human power. Get it up. All sheep are very hungry at the moment. Supposed to be some snow coming in tomorrow. I must get a better setup from this piece of string. <laughs> there we are, we have it lifted up, look. There's a ton bale lifted there. So now I'm going to take this to the other place. Somebody might be interested at uh, seeing me do something. Feeding my sheep at the moment, and the these are about finished lambing now. This is about February the fourth or something like that. So um, they're doing quite well actually. Oh, we'd have to try and trip you up all the time. Now and I'll pull forward. 
full go to that now. Sweet, bro. Yeah, there's my dog look bringing the sheep here on her own. Good girl, good girl. Anyway, pulled out now. What are we going to do now? Thanks. Line you back up. And that is it. It has never let me go. Even when in the snow and my tractors have been all frozen up. This thing has always managed to take bales up and me here, so I can, uh, can't see nothing like it. And I just grab up that bale, put it on its edge. This is got the messiest job done. So I've got that bale in there now, that'll be right, and they'll eat the rest of that. Because the thing is off it. Uh, tell me if you like this GoPro. I've, I've actually seem to be having more luck with this GoPro session than I had with the, the other GoPros. Seem to be working well. So let me just feed these sheep a minute. Just to keep them so I can get back to the gate. Yeah, go back, sweet. Go back, go back. Go back, go back. Good girl. Right, regarding my eyesight, it's been Quite a challenge. I, I, I can actually see that my glasses now for the first time in 20 years doing stuff like this and driving and things like that, so which is very good. And it was different to my last operation because um, my other eye had a bit of a problem with it, and when I came out of that one, I couldn't see bugger all. But this one, I've removed this cataract and I can see straight away. But the problem that it has is, yeah, it's just me getting used to it really, is I was permanently short-sighted before, so anything close up I could see okay, and anything far away I needed glasses for, but it's the other way around now. So now I'm, I'm uh, far-sighted, so I can look all around here and see everything with without glasses, which I couldn't do before. But if I answer my phone or do anything close up, I need to put reading glasses on. Which is a bit of a pain when you're answering your phone, to be honest, but um, I have to say, to be without glasses for the first time in 20 years is a bit of a bloody revelation. It'd be really shocking. Well, I won't talk too much here because the wind is blowing up, okay?